I'm the reason why if you are a pregnant mother, you should not use drugs. <laughs> Welcome to Current Land. I'm your host, Jeremy Scott. On tonight's show, folks, we have Locus. Yo! Rockin', uh, rockin' ass out there at uh, BrewDogs a few weeks ago. They played a, a split bill with Badwater, and Badwater will be on next week. So we have a, we have a great musical guest this week. And uh, speaking of Locus, they're going to be on KMOD's. Uh, Friday morning live, October 16th. So if you want to hear some hometown boys on the radio, tune into KMOD. All right, are you folks ready to get everything started? Me too. We agree. All right, let's get a little national entertainment news. One thing I've learned over my short life is that just because you're dead doesn't mean you can't release a new single or an album or a freaking documentary. Michael Jackson fans, listen up. On October 12th, he will release a single called This Is It. And on October 27th, a do the documentary movie of the same name will be released. And at the same date, October 27th, a two-disc album will be put out. Uh, disc one is kind of a greatest hits uh, compilation, including this single. And the second disc uh, has previously unreleased versions of songs, probably a lot of remixes and messing with stuff. It also is going to include a poem that Michael Jackson wrote called Planet Earth. So October is a big Michael Jackson month. So you kids out there that are MJ fans, get ready for it. It's coming. Okay, folks. Last week, Mikey B made a return to the show doing a little segment called From the Vault, yo! And he was talking about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland. Well, guess what? I'm going to talk about it now because they've released the nominees for next year's induction. Induction. For induction next year. We're not doing that over. <laughs> so here they are. Jimmy Cliff. ABBA. Kiss. The Red Hot Chili Peppers, LL Cool J, Genesis, The Stooges, The Hollies, Donna Summer, Darlene Love, The Chantels, and Laura Nero. Uh, this ceremony will take place March 15th in Cleveland at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Now, only five are selected, but just because you're nominated and you don't make it doesn't mean maybe the next year you, you won't be in. I was actually surprised to find out that Kiss wasn't already in the Rock and Roll. Hall of Fame, huh? All right, let's check in on uh, Tom Barlow and see what he's got cooking up for us. Tom, you ready to go? Oh, no, no, not yet. Let me get this done. I'm probably writing my stories. Okay, he's busy, folks. You know, he really is. He's a busy man. He's 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 got that little earpiece phone thing that looks like he's you know on Star Trek and I, I can't ever tell if he's talking to me or having a conversation with somebody on the phone because he's very busy. Okay folks uh, we're gonna take a little quick commercial break and when we come back we're gonna do top five at the box office. Mikey B is gonna step in and talk about Rick Derringer. Yo! And uh, hopefully Tom will be ready to go so don't go anywhere folks we're gonna be right back. Mm -hmm. 